Last time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Well, everything has gone completely to hell. Kane has managed to stab us in the back, Golbez now has all the crystals, and I don't know what we're going to do now. Everything is just in really bad shape, so um, I guess not much else we can do except return to the Dwarven Castle. Maybe they have some ideas. They were the one that initially sent us to get the Dark Crystal in the first place. So. Maybe King Gaia has some ideas on what we need to do now, because we're kind of screwed. I mean, it's a JRPG. We have to be completely screwed, right? Uh, wait. How did you know? All I had to do was say the. All I had to do was say your name. The Lunar Whale. What are you talking about? A huge one born of a dragon. I've heard that before. Yeah, the Mycidian legend. Yeah, they they. We're mad at us earlier in the game. Well, yeah. Oh, that's right, because you wouldn't have known that. You didn't know that the overworld existed. Oh, wow. The lunar whale. I... And of course. Oh, yeah. Neither of those things are blocked. Wait, what? Hey, hey, Sid is alive. Woohoo. Hello, Sid. Oh, of course you will. This would have been helpful earlier in the game. Yeah, he'll be fine. Easier than falling off a bike. And just like that, Sid is ready to roll. Apparently, Edge is helping too, and so is Cecil. At first I thought that was just a statue in the back of the ship, but then I realized that was just Edge. By the way, I just noticed that Rydia has a, a heart in her bow. Okay, Edge has decided he's had enough and he's going to hang out with the ladies. And Rydia is not happy about it. Or Rydia, or however you say it. I'm, I, I'm guessing Rydia, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Edge is a prince! He has people that do this for him! Come on now, Sid. Apparently that's how... <laughs> and now they're fighting. <laughs> Sid punched him in the face. That's great. Apparently that's how you fight in this game, is you just push each other back and forth. Sid approves. That's how we communicate. Sid? You good? What? Sid! Get up, bro. Oh, once again, he's just tired. Yep. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh, stop. You'll be... You're totally fine. That's right. 
I guess after that, just settling their differences by fighting on an airship, they're now good. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> and Sid strikes again. That's great. So what we've learned, once again, because this is a JRBG, uh, you know, once this, once it, because this is a JRPG, uh, a solution will automatically make itself known, clearly. Uh, okay, the thing I need to sell probably, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to sell some things here eventually. Well, yeah, I'll probably have to sell some things eventually because like ogre kill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to sell some things here real quick. Uh, give me just a second here to figure out what I'm gonna sell. Okay, so I sold a few things, but for some reason I just feel like I need to drop some stuff off at the at the gold chocobo. It could be just my being paranoid, but I get paranoid a lot. What can I say? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drop off the black belt gi. Ice armor. Oh, I just can equip that. Hold on. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and put that on. There was something else that. What is it? Just a minute. Here. Oh, I can equip the black belt key. Uh, there's, there's got to be a reason why I didn't do that. Let me just make sure here. Oh, magic defense is down, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna want their magic defense. That's too much of a drop. And the magic defense, yeah, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Poison axe we don't need. Ogre killer we don't need. Uh, Lustre Sword, I don't think we need. We can't get rid of that. Um, yeah, Lustre Sword, we'll drop that off. These other things I think I can throw. Killer Bow, we don't have to get rid of that. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, good. That gives us more inventory space. Okay, great. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. And just like that, we have a drill. That would have been helpful earlier in the game, Sid. Ugh. All right. By the way, if you try to go over to the Tower of Babel, I don't think you can get in. I want to say it's... Yeah, you can't see. So you can't even walk in. So that's why you needed to get those sirens earlier. Yeah, so it wouldn't even let us in. So, But if we go over here and push the button... Oh, that's cool. And for the final time, we, this is now open once again, which means now we can go back and forth between the underworld and the overworld. That's great. All right, and now we're back here on the overworld. Now, naturally, we had right, have to head right over to Mesidia. By the way, you can't drop into the underworld like that. It's kind of weird. But... Now, naturally, what we're supposed to do is head over to Mesidia, which we could do, or we can now... Okay, well, you know what? I don't think I've fought these enemies here. Now that I just realized that. Fledgling Rue and... I didn't even mean to do this. There you go. Might have gotten some new enemies for the Beastery, but what I meant to do was, now we can go and do some side quests, because this is a JRPG... And why would we not do some side quests? Okay, now, first thing that we want to do is we want to pick up. By the way, we now have two airships that you can use uh, throughout the game. Each of them are, are the same. No one airship is better than the other. Uh, so use whatever airship you feel like using. Okay, now we want to head over here. Hopefully I can find... Okay, that's where we need to go eventually. But what I want to do is I don't want to head up here. So I want to head over to the myth town of Mithril. See if I can find it. Now you go north. There it is. Okay, and we need the ho hovercraft for this part. So basically, what we do: go over here, pick this up, take the hovercraft. 
maybe. Over this part. There we go. And go here. Now, this is the Adamant Isle Grotto. Ah, but he likes animal tails. So remember we picked up that rat tail in the passage of Idolids. Well, if you give this to him, we give him a tail. Ha ha! And just like that, we got some adamant. Uh, we just like that, we got some adamantite. Fantastic. Also, notice that he's in the mood for other tails as well. Not that kind of tail, BCS Universe. I know what you were thinking. Uh huh? <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So what we want to do now, now that we have this adamantite, remember there was somebody in the underworld that said that he wanted some adamantite. So, if we go down back into the underworld, like I said, you can use any airship you want. Each of them flies over the magma. It's totally fine. What we want to do now is we're going to head down here all the way to the south to Kolkol's Forge. And if you bring the adamantite to him, Ah, uh, yes, remember this guy. The world's finest smith. The underworld's finest smith. Ah, he won't afford to serve it again until he has the legendary ore adamantite, which I happen to have. So I'll just give that to him. Old sword. And we're just going to randomly hand over the myth graven blade that we got uh, on Mount Ordeals. Sid's music! All right, well, that was easy. Now he's pow f powered up and ready to go. Great. All right, and now, uh, now that once you drop that off, uh, we'll come back here later in the game once we uh, trigger a certain event. But we'll get to that in here in just a little bit. Okay, very good. Now, next thing that we want to do is head back to the overworld. One other side quest we can do. Uh, two other side quests we can do, actually. I don't know if I can do one of them today. We'll find out. Okay, so now what we want to do, head over to Mysidia. Now I believe we want to head south from Mysidia. And if we do this, I believe this should take us to where I want to go next. Aha! Yeah, you remember this area from before? There's Mount Ordeals. We want to stop off really quickly at Fabul. Now, the only way that this works, actually, I should probably figure out if these folks stay in here. Hello. I guess they've just been standing here this whole time. Okay. Now what we want to do, now the only way this event works is if you've gone all the way through the Sylph, Sylph Cave and have talked to everybody here. Go talk to oh that's crystal chamber no oh this is where you get treasures yeah okay never mind I'll talk to the king later what we want to do is go out this way and let's see and we want to go up this way and if you go all the way to the top of the west tower it's Yang's wife yeah! Now, the only way this is triggered is if you talk to her. Or is if you talk to Yang by going through the Sylph Cave. Uh... Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Fine. And now she's given us the frying pan. Uh... That's great. Rest up for free here, I can't remember. Oh, there's the king. Uh, well, there's a problem. Damn, damn it. Oh, great. Well, yeah, so there's a problem. That's kind of already happened. So, yeah, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay, great. Well, now what we need to do 
is we need to head back to the underworld. So, uh, easiest way to get there is just go this way. And now we need to go back to the Sylph Cave one more time. Because he said, the wife said, go ahead and smack him upside the head for me. So, we absolutely can do that. Now, while we can't go to the Tower of Babel, you can go to the Sylph Cave. So. Okay, give me a second to prepare, and then we'll head to the Sylph Cave. Okay, so I didn't heal up my MP, but I just healed up my HP um, for this part. So basically, we need to go through this part, this cave, one more time. Now, what I want to do here is I'm actually not going to fight anybody unless it's, unless it's a battle that I can win instantly. Because I just, the enemies in this cave hit hard, especially those Marlboros, and I just don't want to deal with it, so... Okay, like, ugh, I was ambushed, so this is gonna take a while. Okay, hold on. Okay, well, I only managed to toad one of us, so that's not too bad. Okay, through here. Yeah, this, I always try to, I always get confused going on uh, how to get through this cave, so I just have to make sure. Save point there, so now it's this way. Uh, by the way, I should mention a couple things about the sealed cave. There actually is a way in the original SNES version to skip the sealed cave, and uh, I'll put a, I'll send a, a video to that in the video description so that you can see uh, how to do that. The other thing is, some people uh, will say that. That's a good idea to uh, to go through um, to go through the sealed cave once without finding as many of the trapdoors as possible. Then do the sequence with Kane. Then go back and fight the trapdoors to get a little more experience. And I just like I, that just is, causes an extra trip through the sealed cave, which I don't really like. And not only that. But if you need to gain some level grinding experience, just go fight the yellow dragons using the sirens in that western part of the area like I showed you earlier. So that's why I did it that way. So just FYI. But I'll show you a video of how to skip the sealed cave in the original a little bit later on for now. Okay, but we want to go up this way and down here. Yeah, I was running into a ton of random battles while I was trying to talk a little bit about the sealed cave. So I just decided to stop and do it that way. And a level for Rydia, because again, I could fight the enemies pretty easily there. Okay. And we're back. And now we have the frying pan. So, if we go over here, and because it's just a great idea to take this item that the wife gave us and hit one of our very good and dear companions over the head with it. Ah. <laughs> uh... Hey, Yang, what's up, dude? Yes! Oh, wonderful. That's right. Great! You can't tell me what to do. Wow! Damn, Edge! Wow! Man, Edge, he thinks... He really thinks he's got some game. Wait, what? How will you do that? Oh! And just like that, we've got the Sylph Summon. Excellent. Well, yeah, duh. Great. And what the Sylph Summon does, and I'll show you that eventually, but basically it allows you to get some HP back. And just like that, we're done with that cave. Thank God. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to make our way back to Fabul one more time. Whee! Again, easiest way to get there, I think. Head east. That helps me keep track of where I am anyways. Head east to Mysidia, then head south. Again, that just for me helps me keep track of where I am on the world map. Because I can get lost pretty easily. There isn't a really, unless you look at a, a game guide or something like that, to tell you where the world map is, you can get lost pretty easily. 
Okay, very good. Now let's go back and talk to the, the missus. Oh, wrong, ah, went to the wrong tower. Oops. This is where I have to go. My bad. Yeah, here's your frying pan back. Sure. Right. And there you go. And for doing that, we get the kitchen knife. Now, the kitchen knife, what that does, it can cut anything. Now, unfortunately, you can't equip it. But you can throw it. And what that does, is it, it throws and it deals a ton of damage. But it's used right away. So you want to use it um, in the best possible, possible situation. All right, very good. Now, there's one more side quest that we can do uh, before doing this. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, but we're going to give it a shot. And if it doesn't work, then I'll come back later in the game uh, and try it another time. So what we want to do is we want to start by making our way back to Baron Castle. Because if you remember correctly, the Spirit of the King said, come visit me once you've had a chance to visit the... Uh, the land of the Idolmas. Now, so what I want to do is I'm going to go up, rest up, because uh, you can rest up for free here in Cecil's bed. Do that, then I'll meet you back out uh, inside the castle, and then I'll uh, we'll take it to the next part. Okay, let's give this a shot. Like I said, I'm not sure if I can actually pull this off, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going to head up this way, down this way, through here. Oh, by the way, yeah, e what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your secret's safe with me. All right, down this way, and down through here. Now, first, now before preparing for this battle, a couple things we want to do. First off, is uh, we want to start by removing the Aegis Shield and getting the Avenger on him because we definitely want him berserked for a little extra attack power. The next thing that we want to do is we want to set our battle speed slow. We want everything to be as slow as possible. Okay? Great. All right. Now what we want to do is we head over here. We sure have. By the way, the trigger for this is you have to have defeated Asura and Leviathan. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. That will be helpful. Awesome. Wait, what? Here we go. And now it's time for a boss battle against Odin. Now there's a reason that everything is going as slow as possible. I promise this is on purpose. Okay, let's go to work. Now basically you have two turns to defeat this guy. So what we wanna do is let's get Bazaga going and I wanna cast slow. There we go. And now let's just go all out. He's got 20,000 HP. Hopefully this will do max damage. And pretty good. He is weak to thunder though. Okay, he's actually... Excellent. He's actually not... He's actually not going through his sequence as quickly as I thought it would. So, now let's get haste going on Cecil. Uh-oh. He's preparing. And I might not be strong enough to defeat this guy right now. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's blitz, because he's weak to thunder. Forgot about that. There you go. I bet, you know what? I bet if I cast blitz on him, I might have enough to do it. I just thought about that. Got him! Woo! -hoo! Yeah, we got him just in time before he cast his... 
Great. Woohoo! There you go. Got him. Yeah. So much like other Final Fantasy games, it, uh, he's got uh, the Zantet Suken. Which, uh, if that hap if that would have connected with my party, that would have been instant death. Yeah, let's get three going. Awesome. Very good. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, so he would have uh, cast Zantus Zantetsuken on us, and that would have been instant death on your entire party. And there's no re-raise in this game or anything like that. So basically you have to defeat him in like two turns before he... Or twice through his animation sequence. Um, otherwise he'll cast... Or hit twice through his AI script. Otherwise he'll cast that and it's basically game over. So there you go. And we got him. And that's all the side quests we can do. So let's go ahead and rest up, and then we will be prepared to continue the story. But what will happen when we make our way back to Mysidia? Does the legend of the lunar whale actually exist? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. So then this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BCS Buster. Check out all the ways you can support the channel in the video description below. Not only do using those promo codes help save you money, but they help me grow the channel as well. And until the next time we meet, take care, y'all. Good job, team. Good job.